So I really don't know how to make this video. I don't know what I want to say. This is going to be a bit of an explanation around where the hell I've been for the past nearly a month at this point. But I do not really wish to do it here. Let's go find somewhere else to talk real quick. Let's go to campus. You can't see it, but there's a car like right behind the camera, and I feel like they're looking at me. So I'm gonna go find somewhere else real quick. Uh, man, I am in love with this tripod. It's like a mini tripod, but I got an extension for it uh, so that I could do like shots like this, but I can make it tall enough that while sitting down, I can talk to you guys, which I think is great. But yeah, this is just a couple of potential changes that are gonna be happening to my channel. Yay, another bloody update. So I'm going to start kind of experimenting with content a little bit more. More videos where I go out and about. But also, I kind of want to start a series where I'm just trying things. Oh, uh, there's a security guard right there. I really hope they don't get mad at me. <laughs> okay, they seem chill. And they're walking away. So when I say trying new things, I'm talking like longboarding. Um, and skateboarding the like. Actually, one thing I really like about this longboard is that it has the kicktail. So I can theoretically be doing tricks on this thing, which I may or may not try. There are a lot of skate stops on this campus. It's not going to be very easy for me to actually try them here. I've been in a rut for the past bit on what I want to do. My videos don't have a ton of reach, uh, again, because I'm not really good at gaming the algorithm uh, like some other people are. Uh, so my videos don't really get more than about 20 views max typically. But then there is also the fact that I am moving incredibly soon. And when I mean I'm moving, I mean I have my own place. I'm going to be purchasing an apartment. But so yes, I'm going to own my own place. My dad is helping me uh, by co-signing on this so that I can purchase my own place. Uh, ironically, it will actually be much cheaper for me to own a place and get stuck here for a couple more years rather than renting a place. Don't understand how that works, but it does. I have just been dealing with that a lot. Um, once again, work has kind of been kicking my ass. I am very much a night person, so, so, so basically, this is how my typical day works. I wake up at 4 a.m., don't really do anything for about 30 minutes. I lay in my bed and like scroll through my phone. Then I get out of bed, get ready, and go to work. I work from five to two, and then I come home, and I s take a nap because I am s that freaking tired. And then basically start either trying to write a script for a video, or I just start watching Funimation or Netflix or something like that because I can and then the cycle just repeats itself and so I don't get a ton of videos made. Seriously, I do not want to ride in the direction of that security guard. Let's go find somewhere else real quick. This'll do. That's very odd. I just noticed there are no skate stops on this part of campus. Honestly, I kind of want to start making some videos about this town. Uh, potentially the more historical parts of it, on top of other stuff. Uh, like I said, I want to do more analytical 
content about shows and movies that I really enjoy. Uh, anime is a big, very big part of that. Why certain shows work and certain shows don't. I actually do have full intentions of making a video about the God of High School. I am working on that script right now. This, that show had so much promise, but it just, it did not work in the end, in my opinion. It just, you rushed by so much stuff. The, the, like, the literal, the webtoon, in my opinion, was a hell of a lot better because it actually built up the characters. Just, when you skip by that much stuff so quickly, it doesn't really work. I also want to make, or a video on Skate the Infinity. Potentially two, really what I want to talk about with Skate is the difference between its dub and its sub. Because there were massive differences between the two that I don't think people fully appreciate when they talk about the series. But yeah, like, when I'm talking major differences, I'm talking like, full-blown line changes between the dub and the sub, which I found really intriguing. The biggest line change I can think of is Adam's entrance right before the tournament, where in the sub, he says, welcome all you skateboard-loving fools. In the dub, he says, what's up, bitches, bros, and non-binary hoes? Bitches and bros and non-binary hoes. Which is a massive change between the two. And I think the difference between the two is very, very interesting if you actually look into the differences between America and Japan. Uh, one thing that I can think of mainly is that uh, in Japan, homosexuality isn't really normalized. A lot of people seem to think that it is because you see a lot of gay characters or queer presenting characters in a lot of anime. However, a lot of people seem to miss the fact that oftentimes these characters are played off for a joke or they have played into the whole naughty, dominant, innocent, submissive type of trope. It's very fetishized in anime. Whereas in America, we've become a lot more accepting of it, and so we seem to include it in a lot more things. I just find that very interesting. Coming from an American who hasn't fully done his research, and from a very surface level understanding, that is the whole reason that the, there's a lot of difference between the dub and the sub, is that the dub is able to go a little more ham with its innuendos and the tropes that it plays into, whereas the sub really it can kind of do that, but if it plays into it too hard, it is going to be seen as fetishization. Then, we're not going to mention the fact that Adam himself is coded as hell. Because, you know, they never actually introduce the sexuality of any of the characters within the series because you don't need to. I, I'm sorry, my personal opinion, romance does not need to be injected into everything. Uh... But yeah, Adam was extremely coded. Honestly, this is what I wanted to talk about. Just some changes that are gonna be coming. I may or may not be putting out content extremely frequently, but I'm always gonna try and make it to the highest level of what I can. I'm still not the best when it comes to editing videos, in my opinion. I'm also stupidly hypercritical of myself. I do maybe four or five takes and then take the best one. I don't go over stuff. I don't script things, so I often forget what I've just said. My ADHD does not allow me to remember super long term the exact words that I've said, and so I often end up jumbling when I'm trying to... So I often end up jumbling what I'm saying and rambling when I'm trying to talk about movies and whatnot and different reviews that I'm doing. But, yeah. So that's a thing. But I just wanted to... But yes, there are going to be changes coming. Uh, a good number of my content is very, very likely. There's going to be a decent chunk of my content that is very potentially going to be changing. I'm going to be trying a lot more new things and filming it on camera. The Let's Plays are not going anywhere. The movie reviews are not going anywhere either. I'm going to be trying to do more analytical stuff as much frequently as I can, though that might not be very often either. I'm shooting for once a week to upload, but I need to figure out a schedule that will allow me to film and because if I can film either Saturday or Sunday consistently with what I want, and then I can spend the rest of the week editing it when I have the time and the mental capacity to do so. I also plan on getting a skateboard very, very soon because I'm having too much fun. But yeah, those are just some things I wanted to talk to you guys about. You know what? I'm just gonna work with the footage that I have. It may or may not turn out the best, but at the end of the day, I'm just gonna be proud of whatever I make because honestly, I am. I'm slowly getting inspiration to make videos again. This is gonna be a very slow road. It is very demotivating when I see people who 
start YouTube channels and do very low effort content and get millions of subscribers very, very quickly. Whereas I've been doing this for upwards of two years and I have less than 100. I have less than 75. I honestly just enjoy making content. I think it's a lot of fun, but yeah. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy whatever videos I put out. I'm hopefully going to be doing much more high quality stuff in the future. That is honestly all that I have for now. I hope to be seeing you all in the next video that I make, whatever that happens to be. If you want to follow me on any of my socials, links to all those are going to be in the description down below as always. But as always, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And as always guys, peace out. I also haven't made it known on this channel or any of my other socials, but I do have a TikTok as well if you want to follow that.